Guys, this is JJ Anjut of the Droid Syndicate team bringing you a video of Cyanogemod 9 on the Sprint Galaxy S3. Now this has been out for about two days, so it is just a nightly. So it literally just came out on, pretty sure it's July 11th. And yeah, it's a nightly, so it is not a stable release candidate. But you can flash it now. Now the bugs are, when you first boot up, it's going to ask you to activate. When you really don't, so you can just skip that. It's going to give you some phone app crashes during the first boot, but that will eventually go away. Other problems are signal strength reporting is broken, so it's not really going to show you your signal bar strength. It's just going to be blank. It's, it's going to be all over the place. You won't really be able to get a spot on uh, how much coverage you have at the moment. It's just going to be a blank status of your signal strength and the charging light does not behave as it should so when you are charging your phone normally the notification light would pop up but in this case it will not do that MMS does not work but you can send pictures but you cannot receive pictures so MMS works for sending but not work for receiving and other things are also broken but they have not written that yet so let's go ahead and show you guys it. As you can see, you got your stock ice cream sandwich lock screen. Go ahead and unlock that. And you can see here that you got sort of the new Signage Mod 9 uh, wallpaper. And you can actually change that. If you hold down, you can go to Signage Mod 9 wallpapers. And I also like how you can choose no wallpapers, or you can just go to stock ice cream sandwich wallpapers. But yeah, here are all the Signage Mod wallpapers. They are pretty cool. I like them a lot. This one's actually pretty cool. Go ahead and set that as my wallpaper. And yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I actually really like the wallpaper that comes with this ROM. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, if you go into System Settings, scroll down to About Fun, you can see you got Cyanogemon version right there. Right there. And then Android version, Ice Cream Sandwich, of course. Go ahead and hold down on that. And you can see you got your little Neon Ice Cream Sandwich. And yeah, you guys pretty much should know Signage Mod 9, but if you don't, it's pretty much a stock ROM. Signage Mod 9 is based off of Ice Cream Sandwich, so it's just going to be the latest version of Ice Cream Sandwich stock, just full out stock with pretty much some tweaks. So if you hop into settings, you can see the notification bar that we actually do have some toggles up there, and you can actually change those. So go into settings. You can see here that you got interface. You can change the launcher. The launcher is based off of Tribuche launcher, so that is pretty cool. You can edit it and tweak it any way you want. You can have some different lock screen shortcuts. If you want to have some different shortcuts, you can also do that. You can also have some sort of weather and calendar widgets. You can have different info on it. You can have a different background. If you don't want the same background as your home and lock screen wallpaper, you can have just a lock screen wallpaper. And you can also have different screen security now, if you go into themes, you can see here that we just have our own theme, but eventually they'll start making themes for Signage Mod. So once themes come out for this phone, you can just flash them. Uh, not really flash them, but just sort of apply them right here. They'll pop up right here. And also, if you go to system, you can see that you got status bar, notification drawer, wallpaper, and font size tweaks. So if you go into status bar, you can see here that you can change uh, sort of all the styles. So if you want to change the battery status style to a percentage, you can see right up here it changes to a percentage. Or if you want to change this to a text, you can see uh, pretty much all the signal strength text. But my phone isn't activated, so it's obviously not going to show it that there. Now if you go into wallpaper, you can see here that you got the stock ice cream sandwich wallpapers right there. And you can also have no wallpaper, so this is pretty much going to make it so that you have no wallpaper and I'd say it's a pretty nice feature considering the AMOLED does use up a lot of battery for bright colors. So maybe if you just want to save up battery life then you can just go with this stock black wallpaper. But yeah, this is pretty fast already. It really does give you the ice cream sandwich experience on this great device. And yeah guys, that's pretty much Sandbot 9 on 
the Galaxy S3 and I'll definitely have more coverage on future updates of this. I'll eventually have a how to install video on this as well. And yeah guys, I'll be posting more videos on this phone and the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.